Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless you. We worship you, Lord. Be glorified, ancient of days, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with each other of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you join us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. It seems as if you have taken their power away. Like they feel really less power, powerful now. Like they used to be boastful with their evil power, you know. They used to be so confident with their evil, their evil mindset and all of that. But suddenly you have taken away that power. You have taken away their power. It is just like Jezebel, you know, that was boasting and knocking her chest, all of that, making vow on how she's going to bring down Elijah, on how she has already killed many prophets, on how she will glorify her idol, you know. She was so confident, but through Elijah, the Bible recorded that the power of Jezebel was taken away. Hallelujah. So when Jezebel was defeated, everyone that was once connected to her, that draw strength from that evil that she carried, all their power as well were taken away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your presence make them feel like, oh, you have taken away their power. Yes, child of God. I keep telling us that evil will not prevail. Evil will not prevail. Evil will not prevail. The Bible said, Peter, he said, Thou art rock. Upon you I build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. That is a prophecy that, that Jesus gave, you know, Peter to carry. Being a rock for him. Being a rock, feeding his flocks, you understand? Feeding his sheep. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Say, feed my sheep. The same Peter. He said, feed my sheep. You understand? So when God has given you an assignment, an assignment, there is nothing that can prevail against your journey. Hallelujah. Your assignment is to take away the powers of the enemy. Your assignment is for you to depopulate her and populate the kingdom of God. That is the assignment that the Lord gives every children of God. Hallelujah. You standing your ground and praying, child of God, did you know that you are depopulating her? You standing your ground and saying that I refuse to be weak. Do you know that you are depopulating her? Because the plans of the enemy is to cause weakness. So that the children of God will not feel powerful. But when you stand your ground, you realize how powerful you are in the Lord. Hallelujah. They realize how powerful you are. It means that you have taken away their power. That boasting that they used to boast in their evil. They can no longer boast it. Why? Because... There is a manifestation of God upon you that must become an evidence for everyone to see. Hallelujah. The manifestation of God, it is the glory of God that is seen upon the life of his children. Hallelujah. And the manifestation of his glory, it is seen upon you. When the manifestation of God's glory is seen upon the life of a man, child of God, I tell you, evil, cannot be more powerful than you. Why? Because nothing can take the glory of God away from the life whom God has already put his glory. In other words, nothing can quench the light that God has already owned. When God has owned a candle, has owned a light, has given somebody something important, nothing can come and plug it away. But the more you are getting strong in what the Lord has given to you, the more you are taking away the powers of your enemy. They feel so defeated now. Why? Because you have taken away 
their power. I pray for strength upon you to stand your ground. It is well with your child of God. Jesus loves you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.